So sometimes you'll get uh, oil in your coolant. In this case, we have uh, oil in the degas bottle or reservoir. This is a Super Duty truck, V10. You'll see the same thing with um, a bunch of the other trucks around this year. This is a two valve. Um, sometimes you'll see coolant that gets in the oil and you'll get that milky brown color. We have that same exact milky brown color in the coolant. The oil is okay. Um, it's a little bit low, but it looks all right. So I'm going to show you guys the first thing to look for. Um, it's more common than a head gasket. So we've got to get under the truck here. And you can see I've got two coolant lines uh, put in together. And what they're from is the oil filter adapter, which is right here. So there's two lines, two barbs, right up there. You can see them towards the top left of the screen. And uh, coolant runs through there to cool down uh, the oil. What happens is that oil filter adapter, there was a recall on these trucks. Um, also, some just go bad and it'll start to puke oil into the coolant. So what you can do is take those two hoses off and get you a uh, little barb or something to put them together and then start the truck and run it at 2000 RPMs for about 10 minutes or so. And typically what you'll see is this right here. So that's oil um, and it'll start leaking out from those barbs. The only thing that should be on those barbs is coolant. So that thing is just uh, spitting up oil into the lines here. So we're gonna have to get it changed out. But if you've got brown coolant, um, hopefully that'll help you out instead of uh, going after bigger things like head gaskets first.